Welcome again on the Vintage Aviation News YouTube channel. Uh, today we are at Cape Canaveral Kennedy Space Center visiting the Starfighters Aerospace Company. But before we get into it, I just want to thank everyone for uh, the positive comments, great feedback, and a lot of suggestions on how to improve um, these videos from a technical point of view. Uh, in particular, thanks to uh, my friend Leo, uh, Leonardo Correa Luna, great photographer who gave me good tips on how, this, uh, how to, to make these videos better. But for now, I hope you like it. So uh, today, again, special place. Uh, this is where the Starfighters are still flying. Uh, yes, in case you were wondering, F-104 Starfighters uh, are still flying, uh, operated by the Starfighters Aerospace uh, Company, led by Rick Svetskov. And in particular, these um, uh, aircraft right, uh, in, nowadays are really focusing on DOD and research and development missions in collaborations with different uh, different companies. So it's great to see them flying and they really still serve their per a purpose. Um, today there is not much going on in the hangar. There's actually a, a shoot of a movie. They're filming a movie uh, with Scarlett Johansson. I don't know if I can say it, but I said it. So I might stick around for that. And uh, so there won't be any flying. Pilots are not here today. And I know Rick Svetkov is on a mission uh, to uh, work on a company business but we're gonna walk around and i'm gonna show you around a little bit it's, i think it's, it's it's cool anyway to to be here and be able to see uh this great aircraft is still flying so uh again thanks for watching i really appreciate your support subscribe to the channel and do not forget to activate the little bell down here so you'll be able to be notified uh every time we go live again appreciate your support thank you The missile with a man in it that's how the f-104 starfighter used to be called back in the uh, uh, mid 50s when kelly johnson and skunk works team designed it to be uh, an interceptor for the u.s air force and then eventually uh, became an export product for a uh, nato country italy germany uh, japan and uh, holland belgium many uh, european countries use the starfighter as an interceptor and the missile with a man in it it fits perfectly the cockpit is so small very small there is barely really room for a tiny pilot and it kind of fits almost like a glove the cockpit and the airplane kind of is fits around uh, the, the, the pilot and there is a specific reason obviously being an interceptor the only objective of the airplane was to climb as uh, fast as possible to high altitude and eventually intercept enemy bombers uh, shut them down and come back to base so not a lot of range not a lot of fuel but again the only objective was to be a fighter to intercept and eventually shut down uh, enemy airplanes so the shape of the airplane kind of reflects that long stream lights stubby and short wings and that's that that was that was the reason so it's really fascinating to be able to sit in one of these airplanes you know thanks to the starfighter guys that allow me to do this and there is more to come I'm sure you can figure it out why uh, the leading edges of these wings are covered. Obviously, they are very sharp, but really, really sharp. Uh, my uncle was a crew chief of F-104 Starfighters for the Italian Air Force many years ago, and that's really what I got my passion for aviation and for the F-104 Starfighter. So I used to go uh, to uh, on base quite often, and uh, I was demonstrated how sharp it is, a very simple technique that he actually demonstrated to me. So this is a business card. It's a you know fairly, uh, fairly thick business card as you can as you can see. And he did exactly exactly this. He put it right here, and here you go. This is this is not this is not thin paper. This is very thick, and just like that, you know, 
cuts cuts a business card so uh, obviously for for a specific region uh, one of the genius ideas of Kelly Johnson was to design the wing this way obviously to achieve maximum speed. And right behind me uh, the mighty uh, mighty Starfighters that originated the uh, air show team if you remember back in the late 90s early uh, 2000 these aircraft were really really busy participating in uh, different air shows you probably have seen those beautiful pictures of a three ship formation with rig snow grass i think Wolfgang Zaya was one of the pilots and uh, right now uh, two are still here uh, they're not flying uh, the seats are cold and one of the aircraft has been uh, has been used for parts obviously the italian f-104s are a, a later production uh, models so uh, they've been used uh, mainly for uh, for the core mission of uh, uh, of the company, and you know, flying these things in air shows is becoming obviously too expensive. So uh, I think uh, last air show uh, here at Tyco in Titusville, uh, where one of the airplanes flew, was back in uh, I believe 18 or 17, 2017 or 18, but it wasn't even. Uh, one of the CF was actually the Italian Air Force. So anyway, for those who have seen them uh, uh, flying around air shows, I'm going to do a big video around. So it will be, we'll be bring back uh, good memories. Rumors have been flying around about uh, having a F-104 Starfighters in Italy for the 100th anniversary of the Italian Air Force, and rumors are true. Uh, Starfighter Aerospace is working with the Italian Air Force to bring one flyable F-104 in Italy on June the 16th, 17th, and 18th at Pratica di Mare uh, Air Base near Rome. So Italians will be able to hear the wonderful sound of J-79 one more time in occasion of uh, of this special anniversary it's not uh, um, they haven't decided yet which aircraft they're going to bring but rest assured if you're an Italian aviation enthusiast watching this video that finally once again almost 20 years later uh, Italian aviation enthusiasts will be able to watch an F-104 Starfighter flying in Italy again <laughs> And this concludes our uh, visit for today and our video. I hope you enjoy it. I'm sorry we, there was not much flying. Actually, there was not flying at all, but we'll come back and uh, shoot, uh, shoot more. Uh, we are friends here, thanks to uh, Rick and Bill Spetsko for uh, their hospitality. Every time I come here, I feel like I'm home and uh, just, just great to be here. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget, subscribe and activate the little bell right here so you'll be notified every time we go live again thanks for watching